Hi guys, this is Jason Zak from Nathaniel School of Music. In this tutorial, as you heard in the intro video, we are going to look at what I am calling in this lesson chaotic arpeggios using the great song by Louis Armstrong, Wonderful World. We are going to take it on pretty much the original key F major, do all the sections, but as we journey forward through the sections, Almost every sentence at a time, we are going to change not only the arpeggio pattern, but the arpeggio pattern with respect to each hand. So no two hands are going to play the same thing, it, except for maybe the first sentence, which will be like a warm-up kind of bar, a line, uh, so to speak. Right Now, if you've stumbled upon this lesson at random or through the gods of YouTube, so to speak, you might realize that this might be a bit tricky for you if you're a newcomer to the piano so I'd recommend then checking out our description we have a stepwise way to get you to this stage okay so this is probably the last part of my wonderful world arpeggio series so do consider checking out those links in the description however if you want to have some chaotic fun with arpeggios different patterns this hand and that hand and if you're not so much of a beginner if, if you're if you've played for a year or two I think you'll find this lesson useful may not you may not be able to execute everything right away but there's a wealth of knowledge in terms of the rhythm patterns and the way the beats are divided and the combinations between the two hands hopefully if you crack this challenge you can use this for a multitude of songs whatever you're trying to learn okay and we are going to stick with the six by eight nature of the song so before we get started the staff notation for this entire lesson is waiting for you on our patreon page Page for just five dollars a month and you'll also get midi files you'll get my handwritten notes and a lot more not only for this lesson for everything else that we've been doing on our youtube channel let's get cracking so first off let's look at similar motion which is essentially a carbon copy between the two hands so that'll go for line one so i see trees of green red roses too so what happened there? Just 6 by 8 going up, F major 7th, A minor 7th starting on G, then F, uh, F bass and a B flat triad. And then I love this voicing of F major 7th with an A bass. So it's a great inversion to play. So I see trees of green, oh, red roses too. So that was similar motion. Now let's do contrary motion. So with contrary motion, one hand will go reverse with respect to the other hand. So if I keep the left hand the way it should be, the normal pattern, G minor 7th, I'll plant the same notes in the right hand, but instead of starting with G here, I'll start from the top. So this it's almost finger to finger matching. That would be contrary motion, you know. So so we do a lot of things on the piano and contrary motion to help us practice, for example, scales. So that's a sort of finger to finger match because the left hand and the right hand are mirror images with re respect to each other. So if I take expand that to the chord, we are on G minor seventh. Actually, G minor 7 sus 4, which goes, I see them bloom for me and you. So in, instead of doing, which is a pitch-wise match, I'm going to do a kind of a finger match. And it'll end up being the right hand's going descending when the left hand's going ascending and then vice versa. So, I see them bloom for me and you. Okay, what are my chords? That's a G minor 7 sus 4 and then that's an F add 4 slash A because there's an A there and I've added the 4 B flat and then it's a beautiful A add 4 and then D minor add 9. This E would be the add 9. So let's figure that out. Left, right, left hand plays the same thing. Da, 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 da. While the right hand contrary is that. Same speed though, that's gonna change. I see them bloom for me and you. Okay, 
and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. For that, I have something interesting. It's a two is to three polyrhythm between the two hands, wherein the right hand continues to play. And I think to myself, what a wonderful. Okay, that'll go. pretty much as planned but the left hand will be essentially in this environment of 6 8 it'll be mm, it'll be doing 4 against the 6 and I, i'll play it and then show you so you're doing a 6 8 there so we just focus on half of that bar just three beats 1 2 3 1 2 3 you'll you'll feel that poly One and two and three and 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 one and two and one and two and one and two and three and one and two and three and right. Hence, we've notated it as a dotted quaver. If you read the sheet, okay. For now. both hands are going in ascending direction but at different speeds isn't it so okay so 6 8 in the right hand and 4 4 in the left hand isn't it okay and this is a good con contrast to the earlier uh, uh, sentence i see them for me and you and i think it's impossible for me to sing it but it's important to know that this goes over and i think to myself what a wonderful world so there we go what a wonderful world and for that for that sustain world we are going to do a flip of the polyrhythm the left hand will go 6 8 while the right hand's going to do the four contrast so there we go 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 it's two time signatures running together you could say gives you that feeling so we call that a polyrhythm you could do it that way or right hands doing the four or left hands doing the four in this case the right hands going to do the four so the chords are pretty nice f major 7th over c A augmented over C sharp, B flat major seventh over D, and then that C seven sus four, and C seven to the B flat bass. I'll do that again. So let's play the previous line and I think to myself Now Please you don't have to sing that because it's just world okay so now let's move on to the second verse where i thought why keep the same copy paste piano since the lyrics are different let's make the arpeggio pattern also different let's get to it i see skies of blue and clouds of white that sentence so it's going to be a speed difference now between the two hands earlier it was a poly now it's a speed so the <laughs> If the left hand holds its ground and plays the same chords, I have not changed the inversions. F major seventh, A minor seventh. Na na na. Okay, that's in the left hand. The right hand is going to do double speed. So taka demi taka 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 demi taka taka demi. So let's see how that goes. I see sky. Slow 
the at dawn so it's the same arpeggio this is the slow version and this is the fast version a good way to count this could be 1 and 2 and 3 and or tak dimi tak tak jun tak tak dimi tak tak so with only the right hand ta ra e minus 7th b flat f major 7th let's just do that line with the slow left hand this is what we used to do in the beginning in the first sentence right so combining the speeds and for that b flat to avoid this thumb clash i'm doing i'm playing an a there and then that's a nice f major 7th over a a repeat little slowly i see skies of blue and clouds of white okay so for the bright blessed day the dark sacred night let's change the order of notes but retain the speed difference between them so now i'm going to do contrary motion and speed difference so the right hand is going to be double the speed of the left hand and inverted so so right hand goes from up to down the dark sacred night one more time left hand is holding its ground with that original 6 8 pattern the dark sacred night and i think to myself the second i think to myself let's now flip that around the left hand does the fast arpeggio double speed the right hand will do single speed let's see how that sounds the chords i'm using for that are It's like a D flat add nine with an A flat bass. So the right hand goes slowly but descending, descending arpeggio, starting with a descent, and the right left hand will go. So this is your left hand together. both hands play in similar motion so i started with contrary then similar so that's a nice g minor add 6 without a 5 can do all these fancy things when playing arpeggios so similar motion but different speeds so a slow right hand fast left hand you need to keep telling yourself that because you don't know what's going on right now at least i don't know so i have to keep telling myself before the next line comes what exactly to do there we go fast left hand slow right hand or original arpeggio right hand right there we go let's do that uh, 2 is to 1 ratio as i'm calling it slow right hand fast left hand contrary now similar world and now the next world i have something very interesting for you these are what i'm calling as dotted variations so left hand goes back to its original roots 6 8 just for variety for the g minus 7 flat 5 ta 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 tum 
Now coming to the next section which is very colorful the colors of the rainbow comes into play a good way to journey forward now we've run out of the polyrhythmic option so let's now do groupings of the arpeggios so i'm going to start uh, the colors of the rainbow so pretty in the sky with groups of 4 i'll demonstrate so so i'm it's a 6 8 song but i'm playing the arpeggios in fours so 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 4 threes are 12 as opposed to the usual 6 twos are 12 or you know packages of 3 which we have in the song 1 2 that's what the left is going to do 2 3 4 5 6 1 2 3 right hand right hand's going to do 1 2 3 4 1 so to get that four going 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 you have to do it's again kind of a polyrhythm 1 2 3 4 that's your g minor 7th over f colors of the rainbow same thing with c7 over f major pretty in the sky repeat of 4 is over that might get a bit boring so let's now do groups of 3 let me slow down groups of 4 once more before we do groups of 3 3 4 groups of 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 Anyway, now let's do groups of three. So the groups of three to get it. If this is my chord, at the words are also on the faces of people going by. So there. So I'm doing one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Dun, dun, dun. I'll I'll play it and then show you. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So groups of three will be nice when you actually take the arpeggio and then play it at the next set of three. This one and this one. So then it'll add an impact. Let's do that slowly. With the original arpeggio on the left hand. There we go. And then the pattern continues. The chords just change a bit faster, right? Of people going by. So, okay. So, of people going by, I see. So that's groupings of three. We did groups of four, groups of three. So let's just do the groups of four and groups of three together. in hands let's do the last part now this is what i call semi quavers with quavers combo okay so it goes i see friends shaking so these these are your two chords d minor add flat 6 and then c major 6 so that's i see friends shaking i see friends shaking Okay now saying how do you do is going to be what i call as syncopated saying how 
you do 6 by 8 in both hands but the right hand will be delayed by a 16th note one e a a a a so they never play together saying how do you do so i see friends saying how do you do they really saying i love you let's look at the last ending it will be pretty easy but i've just added a trill so that will be a nice way to push ourselves at the very end so instead of doing i'm doing a triplet trill f sharp same thing g minor same thing now ending with a normal six okay so the right hand that's your f sharp diminished seventh so it starts with f major sixth f sharp diminished seventh g minor seventh C seventh over G, C seventh over E, and the left hand goes tum 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 chun tum pum pum tum tum chun tum 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 tum. Let's put that together. guys so that was a set of arpeggios which are kind of ganged up together as well because the two hands are doing different things so i hope it will be a good challenge for you on the piano we've taken a great song it doesn't mean you have to just play this song you can do this with any other thing you're composing it's just a nice piano workout to practice hand independence to understand time hopefully a lot better coordinate different rhythm patterns together and so on and so forth hope you enjoyed the lesson as always this is jason zack from nathaniel school of music and don't forget to get yourselves a copy of the staff notation it's waiting for you on our patreon page for just 5 dollars a month and if you bump up the subscription you can also consider joining a few of our workshops which happen regularly Uh, a vault of video instruction lessons and also interact with me in live classes and uh, even private lectures are available right and don't forget to hit that subscribe button turn on the bell icon and don't forget to hit that like button also leave us a comment and let us know if you'd like to learn something else in the future give us your suggestions cheers and catch you in the next one